Machine Head is, is a better record overall. Um, but yeah, I'll just just for today, and maybe next day I say, say if I get the same question, I say say the other. But I say Stonebringer today. Then it's a great record. I mean, he has some some uh, not great songs on there, but the songs that are great are some of the best in their catalog. I think the title track, Lady Double Dealer. Solar Fortune, Gypsy. I mean, those songs. I mean, you, can, you can't wish for more, basically. It's, it's the best sounding, one of the best sounding Deep Purple records. Glenn Hughes is on that album. And I guess he was taken over a little bit from Blackmore's rock and roll dreams. And it became more soulful and that kind of stuff. So, whether that's your, to your liking or not, that's, you know, for me, it's not a problem. It's just that. Yeah, it's not necessarily my favorite type of song. And according to legend, not Richie Blackmore's favorite type of music either. He doesn't like that album. I don't think he likes Glenn Hughes much. Or, I don't know, there's a famous Glenn Hughes interview where he's, where he's really, he seems a bit, you know, uh, not, I wouldn't say depressed, but disappointed. And he talks about Stormbring, and it's more like 80s or 90s in interviews. Like, yeah, Richie called my songs uh, shoe shining music. And he was really not happy with that. And then that quote was brought back to Richie later on, where I read the magazine. And it's like, yeah, you famously said that Glenn Hughes songs are shoe shining music. It sounds a bit racist. And Richie goes, yeah, I'm a racist. <laughs> I know, I think it's joking, but. You know, like, yeah. Uh, to me, it's, it's a great record. Great record. But so is Machine Head.